Prime Minister Justin Trudeau apologized this week to the Chilkaltine community for the hanging of six of the nation's war chiefs more than 150 years ago. Speaking to the First Nations members in British Columbia's central interior, Trudeau said the chiefs traveled to what they believed were peace talks at the invitation of colonial government representatives of the day. Instead of being welcomed as leaders and respected warriors, they were arrested, imprisoned, convicted, and killed. On October 26, 1864, five chiefs were executed as criminals. A sixth was also hanged the following year in New Westminster. As an important symbol of our commitment to reconciliation, we confirm without reservation that these six Tsilkotin chiefs are fully exonerated of any crime or wrongdoing. Trudeau made a statement of exoneration in the House of Commons last spring, but he said it was very important to visit the area and deliver that message directly to community members. The recognition and implementation of Indigenous rights can wait no longer. And neither should the Tsilkotin people continue to wait for an apology that is long, long overdue. The community's current chief said that's what made the apology so powerful, because it was made in person and on their title land. Today marks a, a historic day for not only Honeywood Salkwood Eve, but for all First Nations. Trudeau rode into the valley on a black horse, symbolizing the ones the historic chiefs rode into the camp to negotiate peace. The day also included a smudging ceremony. Our government acknowledged what the colonial government of the day was unwilling to accept, that these six chiefs were leaders and warriors of the Tsilkotin nation, and that the Tsilkotin people they led maintained rights to this land that had never been ceded.